We live in a noisy world. Noise pollution raises our blood pressure, disturbs our sleep, and leads to cognitive impairment in children. But it's not just us humans that are affected by noise. Off Ireland's west coast, the Department of Climate Action and Environment promotes exploration to the oil and gas industry. When mapping the seafloor, the industry sets off regular blasts that can go on for weeks or months. In recent years, there's been a suggested link between marine noise pollution and mass beachings of whales and dolphins. I'm heading out into Galway Bay on the Celtic Voyager with the team from GMIT, who produced the EPA STRIVE report on ocean noise in Irish waters. So the STRIVE report was an attempt to start measuring background noise to look at the distribution of whales and dolphins to see where the sense of areas, where the two interact. Um, also to look at how can we measure ocean noise long term. How big is this problem and is it actually getting worse? We are an island, so uh, nearly all the goods coming into Ireland imported come on ships. So you've got ships carrying goods, you've got fishing vessels. In the last 50 years, noise is increasing at a steady rate. You've got uh, increasingly surveys that are looking for things like oil and gas, seismic surveys, but they use high-frequency multi-beam to map the seabed. That produces a sound as well. So there's a whole plethora of noise out there, some of it local, some of it over a wider area, all affecting different things in different ways. You know, I would argue that it's a, probably a bigger issue underwater because a lot of animals use sound as their primary sense, not sight, like we do. And when you think that these animals, such as you know, your large whales, your blue whales and fin whales, can be communicating over hundreds of kilometers, um, it just shows how important sound is to them. We are very lucky in Ireland that we have good populations, good species diversity of whales and dolphins and other marine mammals, um, so that we have a responsibility to make sure that the habitat and the environment is good. The best way to record the sound of marine life is with a hydrophone, a waterproof microphone towed behind the Celtic Voyager. The hydrophone is 200 metres behind the ship. The signal is coming in through the computer, so what you're looking at on the screen is a spectrogram. As we're moving along now, and if we have dolphins come within the range of the hydrophone, you know, they could be two kilometres away and we could detect those whistles. I think listening to the hydrophone, you're monitoring in real time. We're sitting in here, yet we're able to listen to what's going on down there. It's, it's amazing. This was when we were further offshore. So lots of common dolphins around the boat. I can't remember, there was, you know, 20 to 30. So we've got just lots and lots of whistles. And we just... And that's the whistle, that's the dolphin yeah. whistling. An EPA Commission study by UCC found that seismic activity by the oil and gas industry has a much bigger footprint than previously thought. While best practice is used for these techniques in Irish waters, these blasts can cause temporary or permanent hearing loss in whales and dolphins within one kilometre. And changes in behaviour are likely to occur over hundreds of kilometres away. If you are a dolphin and you're relying on the, your use of sound to be able to communicate with your young or with other group members within a group that you live, then being able to um, hear each other is a, of huge importance for the survival of those species. But if we have background noise and all the time that noise is increasing and increasing, then those animals are having to do different things to be able to adapt to that. There's over 800 species of fish that are soniferous, so that means that they produce sound. If noise pollution is having an impact on them, and being able to detect you know, sounds or cues in the environment, then that's going to be a big issue for those species as well. With reports of mass strandings of whales and dolphins at an all-time high and a suggested link to noise pollution, noise is certainly another pressure on an increasingly vulnerable ecosystem.